Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and I know it's been such a long time since I made a video, and obviously, once again, I apologize, but for my last video, if you did see it, then you know, you know what's going on. Um, today's video is basically like a little life update of sorts. Um, I wish I could say it was good, but I can't, and it's just, it's, it's hard. So, like, this portion of the video it's going to be basically hard to talk about. Um, first of all, let me just go ahead and apologize for the crappy lighting, crappy, uh, whatchamacallit, recording utensil, sure, <laughs> sorry about all that, but I just, I'm not in the mood, like I don't feel yet, I don't feel comfortable setting up and doing normal type of videos like I used to do yet. I mean, everything's just so hard, um, and I don't want to get too much into it, not to be, like, by any means rude, it's just hard on me, um, if, if you do follow me on Instagram, then you'll know, you may know, I've, I've only mentioned it in a comment just because I didn't want to make a post, I didn't want to, like, have it on my Instagram, but my grandma ended up passing away, and it's been one of the hardest things I've ever been through in my whole life, but... I don't want to go into that other than the fact that literally I've been struggling with it. Um, see, she passed away last Thursday and it's just been so hard. And also, you know, I have a sickness. I haven't really went into it, but I do have neuropathy. I got diagnosed with that and I decided to go to the chiropractor because they told me it would be good for me. I go to the chiropractor and she completely messes me up. Like, I have neuropathy and nerve pain throughout my whole entire body now. My whole entire body is sore and in tons of pain like it's never been in my whole life. And there's no medicine to like cure that. And basically, I have tons of anxiety, depression, everything. So basically like my mind is just fighting, fighting for me to like get better. Like it's all a mind thing. It's basically my doctors are trying to use like hypnosis on me. I know that sounds weird and kind of crazy. and. It's not the hypnosis that you would think, um, but it's basically training my mind, and I, I don't know, I'm just at a standstill with it all. I just feel miserable every day, literally, all the time. I just, everything hurts, and I'm so tired of it, and I want to feel better. I just want to be better, and I don't know, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if any of you have ever had this issue with chiropractory, like, hurting you instead of like benefiting you or just anything like that please comment down below because I would love to know personally it would help me it would really help me to know that I'm not alone because I do feel alone I hear all the time about how chiropractors help people like so much and whatever but um sad stuff aside I do hope uh, to basically eventually obviously get back to doing my real filming um soon i'm actually basically out of school now uh first year of college completed all i have is two final days to go to and then i should be out and i should have hopefully a lot of more time to like formally set up my like camera and everything and record and hopefully just get my mind a little bit back right to where i feel like actually setting up my camera and actually like going through all that like ordeal um, but, you know, I guess it just, it all just comes with time, and like I say, just stick with me, please, just stick with me. If you're new here, if this is, like, the first time you're watching, please subscribe. I'm really sorry, like I say, I just, I know I keep apologizing, but it's just hard for me to be this way, and I don't know. Um, one positive thing is, I guess, um, I'm really excited to order to um order my mother's day gift for my mom i'm really excited about that she really loves the show fixer upper and like she really likes all the hgtv like home renovation shows and so i'm going to get her um some things off of excuse me um the website from the show fixer upper like they have their own website because they have their own business you know i don't know if you know that or not though but anyway, if you watch HGTV and know anything about those types of shows, then you may know that. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Anyway, um, 
and so I'm going to order her something off their website and I think she'll be really happy and I know she's been through so much you know with it being her mother who passed away so I'm really excited to do that and also today I'm wearing a little throwback shirt it's from high school whenever I went to prom and I tried to match my eyeshadow to it um, you probably can't tell well, but it's pink and then like silver glitter and it just kind of matches the gray and pink in my shirt, which is, that's cool. So, so I don't, I don't really know, uh, but it's just really hard to say anything. The really, the main things have been getting me through right now is, and I mean, I know everybody has their own, a personal like opinion on her, but Miranda Sings, oh my gosh, like I love Miranda Sings so much, her videos. I'm not really good with humor, like a lot of people's type of humor. I don't know why, but like if you put me in like a comedy club or like go to a comedy kind of ordeal place with a comedian, I'm probably not gonna laugh. And I don't know why. I just have such an odd sense of humor. And I feel like Miranda Sings, I don't know. I just, I feel like I click with her. <laughs> and I really like Miranda Sings. And if you don't, that's totally okay. But her videos have been getting me through a lot. Um, just like to give me a laugh and such. And I picked up a couple books at my library um, the other day. And I will go ahead and actually just show them to you now. So the first one I have is called... The Unwritten Rule by Elizabeth Scott, and it says, Sarah has had a crush on Ryan for years. He's easy to talk to, super smart, and totally gets her. Lately, it seems like he's paying extra attention to her. Everything will be perfect except for two tiny details. Ryan is Brianna's boyfriend, and Brianna is Sarah's best friend. And then it goes into more. But anyway, basically, all these books are romance books because romance is my favorite genre. The second book is called The Unexpected Everything. I thought the cover was really cute on this one. And it's by see, Morgan Matson, I think. And then the last one is called Not That Kind of Girl. Yeah. Looks steamy. I don't know. Anyway, I love romance novels. So hopefully that will get my mind off some things. You know, that and YouTube and just... I don't know. So anyway... Basically, that's, I guess, my kind of life update for right now. I just really hope things start to get better soon. Like I say, just comment down below about the chiropractor thing. I mean, comment down below anything. Comment, like, any kind of good news, any kind of happiness. I don't know. Just, just talk to me. I just feel so alone right now, basically. This has just been such a hard time for me in my life, and I just wish it wouldn't have happened, but obviously it did. I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. And I know, like, everyone doesn't have the same beliefs. So, you know, like, I'm not trying to push any kind of belief on you. Anything like that at all. But, anyway, once again, you know, sorry for the crappy video quality. I'm not going to be editing any of this. So, this is just literally, like, me just, I guess, raw, you know, raw video. Just talking to y'all. Um, but, anyway, I guess that's really all I have to say. And I just, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope things are going well for you and you know just I hope you're having a good time great day great night whenever you're watching this please give this a big thumbs up as always and you know please subscribe if you haven't already and if you are please stick with me I will be back um and yeah so see you guys later